Okay, so let's start with um, a greeting, of course. So, good day, everyone. Good day, cadets. Our topic would be sustainable development. So, this has been um, chopped into two parts. We have um, the problems that we are facing right now and also with the goals that is for topic 26. So, let's start with topic 25. For a bit. Ayun. So we have now sustainable development. So we have your learning outcomes. And this one, no, this picture. So first, um, I'm going to ask you about what is for you, what is sustainable development? So we hear a lot of answers. You know, goals, sustainable, sustainable development. We have change, reference, universal framework, action, shift, paradigm. You know, so, um, society need, um, poverty. We also have that one, huh? And all of the things that you uh think about of what is sustainable development. Next one. Is a picture. I know it's kind of distorted. No, the picture is distorted. But you can see in the picture, no, a river or it could be um, dagat na siya nga dagang kay mo basura, no? Which is, no, makakita gin mo ani, hindi nila kami sa Manila, but also in other cities, no? Around the Philippines, or, yeah, let's say for example, in the Philippines, no? Makakita gin kay tagin ani ng mga sinario. Because, yeah, number one, pollution is a very big problem. And then, yes, it is a point that you recognize you know, that ecological crisis happen around you and how the deterioration is a deterioration that decrease of an environment destabilized populations and species raising the specter of extinction for some and lesser quality of life for the survivors of their offspring. You know? So everything that happened today or in this generation will have also an impact for the future. That's why we have now world's leading environment environmental problems. You know? Number one of it is Pollution, no? Grabe gid ang pollution, grabe karampan, no? So the con this it is from this um problems, uh is from the Converse Energy Future website. So this list of problems is from this kind of website. You can also look for this one on the web. So number one is pollution, you know? We have different kinds of pollution. We have Air, water, and soil. So this requires a lot of millions of years. Through pickup, industry, and water vehicle exhaust are number one pollutants. So heavy metals, nitrate, and plastics are also yeah, is part of the pollution. You know? uh, later on, we will have we will discuss further the types of pollution na nasa sa part sa atong 15 no kin sa habo number 2 global warming no climate changes like global warming is the result of human practices like emission of greenhouse gases global warming leads to rising of temperatures of the oceans and the earth's surface causing melting of polar ice caps Rise in sea levels and also a natural patterns of precipitation such as flash floods, excessive snow or desertification. You know? This global warming mo nang naatay climate change. No, maga change change ang ato or makasinati ta masalo siya makasinati ta og different nga weather condition. Like for example, kaun morning bugnaw unyang hapon init. Global warming. So 
So we have here now the second one, third one rather, is overpopulation. Overpopulation, where the planet is reaching unsustainable levels as it faces shortage and resources like water, fuel, and food. So population explosion in less developed develop and developing countries is staining the already scarce resources. So intensive agriculture practice to produce food damage damages the environment through use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and insecticides. So overpopulation is one of the crucial current environmental problem. So a lot of world down no we'll we'll we will not focus on the Philippines but in the world no overpopulate the Delta problem. Fourth is natural resource depletion or nagagamay on natural resources. So natural resource depletion is another crucial current environmental problem. No? Fossil fuel consumption results in an emission of greenhouse gases, which is responsible for global warming and climate change. Globally, people are taking effort to shift to renewable resources of energy like solar, wind, biogas, and geothermal energy. This were natural resources. The cost of installing the infrastructure and maintaining these sources has plummeted in a recent year. No, the gag, the kaalam dog, the bangay, of course, guy. Ang natural resources board guy, nagadikis po. Fifth, waste disposal. The overconsumption of resources and the creation of plastics are creating a global crisis of waste disposal. Developed countries are notorious for reducing an excessive amount of waste or garbage and dumping their waste in the oceans and less developed countries. Yes, no? And they have the garbage in the ocean and dump it sa other country. So, they have to buy it in country so they can dump it in a lugar ilang mga garbage. No? Nanay news ana before sa Philippines nga nag dump nila ang ilang mga garbage. Next one we have climate change. No, climate change is yet another environmental problem that has surfaced in last couple of decades. So it occurs due to rise in global warming, which occurs due to increase in temperature or atmosphere by burning of fossil fuels and release of harmful gases by industry. So climate change has various harmful effects but not limited to melting of polar ice, change in seasons, the occurrence of new diseases, frequent occurrence of flood and change in overall weather scenarios. So climate change is the result of that global warming. So, kung naay global, naay global warming, naay climate change. Seven, loss of biodiversity. Kasi bio is life, so diversity, ang pagka-lahi-lahi. No? Human activity is leading to the extension of species and habitats. And loss of biodiversity. So, ecosystem, which took millions of years to perfect, are in danger and loss of bio Diversity, so ecosystem, which took a million of years to perfect, are in danger when any species population is disseminating. No, so there should be a need of a balance of natural processes like pollination. It's crucial to the survival of the ecosystem, and human activity threatens the same. So another example is the destruction of coral reefs in the various oceans, which support the rich marine life. So for example, also, cutting of trees, diba? So, if there no no trees, of course, kung saan na lang atong magdagamay po ang ang, ang suman, atong gina take in, no? Which is the oxygen. Mainly, plants give us oxygen. And the same way, humans also give carbon dioxide for plants. Number eight, deforestation. Our forests are natural sinks of carbon dioxide and produce fresh oxygen as well as helps in regulating temperature and rainfall. 
So at present, forests cover 30% of the land, but every year tree cover is lost, amounting to the country of Panama due to the growing population demand for more food, shelter, and cloth. So deforestation simply means clearing of green cover and make the land available for residential, industrial, or commercial purposes. Number nine, ocean acidification. So it is a direct impact of excessive production of CO2, so the percent of the CO2 produced by humans. The ocean acidity has increased in the last 250 years, but by 20, 2100, it may shoot up by 150%. Wow, that's so big. The main impact is on shellfish and plankton in the same way as human osteoporosis. No? Nice bucket in plants in, in the evening, no? the colors. But yes, ocean acidification is really a problem. Then, ozone layer depletion. So the ozone layer is an invisible layer of protection around the planet that protects us from the sun's harmful rays. So that's why karon dili kinanglan na kung ana ka sa init ng around beyond 10 a.m. No, di na dapat din magpainit init kay makaharm harm na ang sunlight. The depletion of the crucial ozone layer of the atmosphere is attributed to pollution caused by chlorine and bromide found in chlorofluorocarbons or THC. No? Once these toxic gases reach the upper atmosphere, they cause a hole in the ozone layer, the biggest of which is above the Antarctic. The CFCs are banned in many industries and consumer products. The ozone layer is valuable because it prevents harmful UV radiation from reaching the Earth, so this is one of the most important current environmental problems. And to take note now today, in uh, during pandemic times, no, there has been a news stating that um, our ozone layer now has been recovering. No? So, nalakuan na daw karun, recover po daw atong ozone layer during these times, no? Knowing that it did not always go out of our houses, so, ang atong daw mother nature would not recover po siya. Help so no, okay na atong ozone layer. Kawala robo tayla in Earth. One and only lang yun. Eleven is acid rain. Acid rain occurs due to the presence of certain pollutants in the atmosphere. Acid rain can be caused due to combustion of fossil fuels or erupting volcanoes or rooting vegetation, which release sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides in the atmosphere. Acid rain is a known environmental problem that can have serious effects on human health, wildlife, and aquatic species. You know? It's really a, a big problem to human health. Acid rain. Number 12 problem. Water pollution. You know, a type of pollution. Clean drinking water is becoming a rare commodity. That's right, you no? Know? Water is becoming an economic and political issue as the human population fights for this resource. One of the options suggested is using the process of desalination. So industrial development is filling our river seas and oceans with toxic pollutants which are a major threat to human health. Yeah, right, no? So ang pa mga industrial na mga kuan, na kuan nila ay lang mga wastes of rivers, no? This is so not good. How about the marine life that we have? And also, as you can, as you know, no, what we drink today, no, we na filter na atong water para hindi siya for inuman nato, no. Grabe na kita ay mga process para mainuman to ang water from huga na po big to clean water. And the problem with this one also is our rivers and seas and oceans, no? Having a lot of pollutants. How about the fishes, no? The marine life that is living in it. So, na lang sila. So, muna ka rin, dagay mga kuan, ang matay ng mga isda, matay ng mga lalawin, mga dagay ng mga matay ng mga isda, ano ba? So, muna po, na yung problem, no? 
niya ang nabuhaton ng problema ng tuition ang mga tao na bihapon, di ba? Sir, I try our 13 rather, urban sprawl. Urban sprawl refers to the migration of police. Population from high density to urban areas to lower density rural areas, which result in the spreading of city over more and more rural land. Urban sprawl results in the land degradation, increased traffic, environmental issues, and health issues. So the ever-growing demand of land, the space, natural environment, consisting of flora and fauna instead of being replaced. No. This is also true, no? Ang mga land, hindi mo na og subdivision. And also, there's also increase in traffic, no? Grabe, grabe nga traffic, kada na may tao sa mga traffic. Kahit, of course, nang hawan o daghan sa sakyanan, kaya daghan mga kuy tao. And also, if daghan sa sakyanan, it also lead to environmental issues, no? Kaya ng mga smoke nga yun sa sakyanan mo, umo na siya, no? Pollution mo na siya. And if ever, no, now po yung health issues, of course, kaya daghan na may tao. Like for today, di ba? Dali na mo spread ang isa ka disease kung daghan kay tao sa lugar. Take for example, COVID, no? Na may environmental issues, ang maapektuhan ko na itong health. Affected din tanan, no? Sa isa ka, problem lang. 14. Public health issues. The current environmental problem pose a lot of risk to health of humans and animals. Dirty water is the biggest health risk of the world and possesses threats to the quality of life and public health. Run off the rivers, carries along toxins, chemicals, and diseases carrying organisms. Pollutants cause respiratory disease like asthma and cardiac vascular problems. High temperature encourages the spread of infectious diseases like dengue. And we also have number 15 problem, which is genetic engineering. Genetic modification of food using biotechnology is called genetic engineering. Genetic modification of food is called increased toxins to diseases genes from an allergic plant can transfer to target plants. Genetically modified crops can cause serious environmental problems as an engineered gene prove toxic to wildlife. Another drawback or say drawback that's disadvantage is that increased use of toxins to make insect resistant plants can cause resultant organisms to become resistant to antibiotic. And that is for the problems of the world. So in Leading to environmental problems. For sustainable development goals, we will have the next video.